the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Centre have challenged the federal government to activate real-time online monitoring of pipelines to save the nation huge funds being lost to oil theft. The coalition is also seeking an amendment to the Fiscal Responsibility Act. TVC News Joki Adisa has details. Nigeria is in the throes of an economic crisis in the aftermath of the petrol subsidy removal and the government says it is working around the clock to bring about relief to the people, particularly with the disbursement of 5 billion naira to each of the 36 states and the federal capital territory. This forum of civil society groups and organized labor is projecting the way forward for the government and the people hit by economic challenges. The group expresses concerns about Nigeria's huge debt burden and laments about 90% of the nation's retained revenue amounting to about 4.22 trillion naira out of 4.54 trillion naira was spent on debt service in 2021. It therefore calls for a moratorium on debts, particularly foreign. There is need to hold accountable public officers under whose watch industrial scale oil of oil theft occurred in recent years as a strategy for reducing oil theft and possibly recouping lost revenue. The issue of uh, NLC making a point that the National Assembly have collected some money for their constituency project and that they are demanding apology. I think that will be officially responded to by the NLC leadership at the appropriate time. Among issues that caught the coalition's attention are tax revenue, tax expenditures, oil theft, and need for the use of a mandatory Treasury single account while also strengthening the office of the Auditor General of the Federation as measures to stem corruption. There is a need to ensure that there is accountability in the process, there is openness in the process, there is monitoring and evaluation. There are questions that media should be asking. Who are those that are benefiting from these incentives? And as 5 billion era palliative from the federal government to states are shared, the forum tax the media to track disbursement. The government providing the necessary services for instant transportation, providing drug in our hospital, is still not, it will still not take us to the next step. Among the recommendations from the coalition is that government should engage organized labor, the private sector, professionals, women, the youths, persons with disabilities and other relevant members of the public to design a social intervention program that will cushion the hardship in critical sectors of the nation's economy. Jokia Edson, TVC News, Abu.